If you see what we can see, then adventure it's for all of us. There's a place that we should be. Come along, come along, cause it's high tide and we can't lose. Come and drift away with us. Hi guys, welcome back. We need some more anchors on the boat. What we, hmm, do we? We've probably got what? Six or eight at the moment already? Have we? Yeah. I thought five. But on the port side bow, the guy who knows the side very well, there's like a big chain which goes down, which we're quite heavily reliant on, especially in a big storm. But he's like, he doesn't know what's at the bottom. So we thought we may as well make another anchor to go, or another mooring. We want to make sure Surinda is as secure as possible yeah. um, for the winter because if we get a high tide and a really bad storm, we don't want to move in. Yeah, we want to try and try our best to keep her where she is, don't we? Yeah, yeah. we want to keep her in a nice little hole. We don't want any incidents. We don't want to yeah. blow her away. <laughs> yeah, go there. Where's Surinda gone? Where's she gone? <laughs> uh, and also, we don't want her to... Cause where she is, she's in a bit of a dip, and if she was to move over, she could end up really lifting. Tipping over, yeah, which we don't want that. So, so we're going to try our best to yeah. secure her for the winter as best we can. Yeah. So today we're going to make a mooring or a big ground anchor, aren't we? So, um, here's a traditional, very, very small boat anchor. Did you so, get that off your dinghy? Yeah, so they basically, you pretend to be the ground, no, 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 okay. Yeah, so that'll ah! <laughs> that'll basically stab into the ground. And obviously the more the more it pulls, so the more it pulls, the more it goes into the mud. Well, that's what we're anchoring to is mud. So yeah, it'd be great on a small boat, not really good enough. Well we haven't got a small boat. We've got a massive we've boat. We've got a massive boat, but we've already got loads more anchors, so it's not gonna be carrying the whole boat, it's just sort of just to stop them moving and so we're getting all school teachery on our um on our like white board so here's surrender then if you could tell could you tell what surrender yeah okay that's good then so we've already got loads of lines already out so i drew a sample here the lines are weighted so when the boat floats if she does move in water you've got like the weight which goes up and down up and down and it really really dampens the shock effects on the cleats so at the moment we've already got a couple of cleats going out here and stuff but the sort of topography of the land is that the right word topography i've uh, never heard that word you may have made it up i may have made it up so we've got all this here i've got green but all here is the grass area and then it really drops off so what we want to do is send like a line we'll have it slack it'll come down and it'll go down here into an anchor here so Technically, it's got to pull its way up the bank and it'll also dig into the bank at the same time. And then we'll have as much chain as we can, maybe up to here, then we'll then we'll weight the line there. Sound like a plan? Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Let's go and make an anchor. Let's make an anchor. We'll just use this one. So this is all the heaviest, angriest steel we could find. Let's see what Why did we weigh it in and buy an anchor? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't weigh stuff in. So plan on using this this big chunk here for our first anchor. So then we're going to get some flat bar, pretend that's flat bar, that's going to be coming off there like that. So you can sort of see here, this is our big chunk of steel there, then we'll be having a flat bar coming off it. And we'll work out the, the proper angle in a second. So let's cut some flat bar, we'll work out the centres and we'll go from there.
Uh, so I've got uh, drilled three holes in a anchor pulling metal thing. So one hole here so we can put a, a D-ring on it. So if we ever have to get the anchor out, so we've got something to pull on. That's the plan. And then two more fixings here for the chain. So now what we're going to do is we're going to clean it all up, get it centred, and we're going to tack this on here, and then we're going to start adding more material to it. What are you doing? PPE! <laughs> Just at the points where we're going to be welding, make it nice and uh, clean. Clean your metal. Cool. Right. So my welder, you weld them. I need to learn how to weld a bit more. I weld them. <laughs> Bad attack, am I? Ducky. Mm. Self taught. <laughs> Shall we so we're going to weld this piece on the bottom, but we're going to put it at a bit of an angle. So to set the angle, I'm just going to like hold it there. Ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm just coming out in the middle now or something. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to retreat with the camera. Because, um, I don't want to get any burn ones, do we? Yeah, let's take a few more tacks on that camera. Can I have a go? Can I do a weld? Jim's gonna do some welding, so. Right, eyes. I don't really see what I'm doing. My jumpsuit. I think it might be too hot. No, 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 it can never be too hot. Right, we're having a welder. <laughs> <laughs> so I am not a welder. I've welded about four things in my life. <laughs> you know what? I've got a piece of paper to say I'm allowed to weld, so. Right, let's have a look. Could be better. <laughs> I missed a bit. <laughs> <coughs> okay. But by the end of today, you're going to be doing well. I might. Right? Can I can I weld like that? Yeah. Okay. That's not really the best. Bear in mind, this is 10 mil plate, so it's it, it's it's sapping heat. Yeah. So that the last one got better. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna try a bit harder now. I'm gonna give her a few quick sort of like whispers in the ear. Whispers. Yeah. Right. Go on then. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna really try now. Simon's giving me a few pointers. Still can't see through the mask, but right, let's go. You ready? Yeah. It's gone darker, the mask. Darker, okay. Try that. Yeah. <laughs> 
That was really good. There you go, see? Because your fingers getting hot. Yeah. If your fingers are getting hot, you're doing it right. Right, that's like really, that's amazing. I mean, obviously, if this was a welding test, I'm gonna say you start and stop to rubbish. Yeah. You know, like there and there. But apart from that, it's really, really good. Still can't see that. So now you need like three more runs across them. Oh, <laughs> so you still can't. That's that mask. It's the mask. It's just the way it is. Right. So let's not burn out all of our gas. Because we're on a CO2 shortage as well as diesel shortage. So you don't want to weld it all up? Not yet, no. Because before you weld anything up, you should, you should get all the structure in first. Okay. Okay. So let's... Um, so Taylor, just put me a few more tacks in the middles. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so now we're going to put a big gusset in now from there to there. Oh, look at that! Which way did you go? Down or up? Or? Sure, went that way. That is beautiful world. That's it, that's brilliant. I like that sound because you went past. I'm almost done. Can't get out of me helmet. See, I'm quite jealous that you're bald. Right, I'm a past. Do you want to come and break my world? That's the first ever downhill run. <laughs> that's actually amazing. That's really, really good. Quite impressed with it myself. Could be a welder if I actually had some proper training, couldn't I? There is proper training. <laughs> That's actually very good. Oh, look at that. But, so you went from, from yeah. that there where you missed. Yeah, so yeah. In, in literally 10 minutes, I've yeah. gone from missing. missing, being a bit crap, and I missed a bit there, look, at the that's, start, that's fine, that's fine. to look at that beauty. Cool. Go on, YouTube. <laughs> Rate my welding. <laughs> Shouldn't say that, because I'll have all the experts yeah. say, you're doing it totally wrong, but as I say, I'm not a welder whatsoever, so. I'm trying. <laughs> God loves a trier. So we're just going to put some little side bits in. I don't know why, because Simon just told me to. <laughs> well, the end of your shovel isn't flat, is it? No. But the only thing I can really see that's a bit weak is like the sides could like push out, but then. Um, there like that, just to stop it wanting to push out. Even though these might stop it sinking. Might, might not. But anyway, it's better than it bending into. So we'll get geometry wall beads in here, I think. That's the power of welding. Everyone thinks, oh, it's fine, it's fine. It's like, ow! Oh! 
Just wait, just wait until you touch what you've just welded. So how, how can we test it? I don't know, what can you get me off of this hat? So I think I've just found the reason. There's hooks on that. I think I've just found the reason why there's more men welders than females. Because can't take Hair. the hat off. Can't take the hat off. <laughs> right, cool. Ow! Strong as an ox, that. Right, so I'm going to make another anchor. It's going to be completely different dimensions because of the available materials that we've got. So I'm just going to throw it together, then I'll show you and talk you through at the end. Alright, so I've cut up all the pieces to me anchor. Um, this is now 300mm, so it's actually deeper. I think it's a bit narrower, but I can now put a bit more of a curve to it. So I'm going to weld all this up and say, don't time lapse, and then a quick chat at the end. Right, so we've tacked it all up. Uh, structurally, it looks quite a nice shape. So go out and give it all a good weld up now. So she's all welded up, um, pretty strong, extremely heavy, so we've got to rely on her to sink, so it's going to be pulled like that way, so the more she's pulled, the more she'll technically burrow herself into the ground. So we haven't got any horizontal plates, because that'll prevent the dive, won't it? So this one here has got a nice sort of, nice curve to her, so we've got an eye on here, so if we ever have to extractor for some reason um, we can actually lift here so this end we've got two points of fixings just in case one fails a loop of chain said so on the loop of chain we'll be putting our our, our line then um, so yeah all good last thing to do Gemma thinks it's a good idea on the top side of it to put some like brightly coloured paint so we're going to dig out our safety orange. So before the safety orange goes on, I would like to put a bit of white down just to like give it a base. So we'll let that go off and then we'll put some orange on it. So we've now got both both anchors here that we made today. Um, yeah, dimensionally very similar. Um, the angles are marginally different. Well, the actual angle of the of the first plane is, but this 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 one here sort of progresses progresses down slightly. But they shouldn't fall apart. I wonder for so all good. So yeah, my, my white's gone off. So a bit of safety orange, and then we're finished. I think. Beauty. Give me a test, Mark. Finished! <laughs> We've made two anchors, so now it's time for the hard work of getting them over to the boat and getting them set in. Yeah, easy peasy. Yeah, but... I'll get her to do it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Cheers guys, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.